Hello, let's see how to make simple and tasty eggless banana and walnut cake. Measure all the ingredients and keep it ready before starting the process. First take half a cup of walnut, just pulse it twice or thrice and then keep it aside. Then onto a mixing bowl add 4 large bananas. If you are using smaller one, add 6 bananas. It's better to use beater to smash the bananas or you can use fork too. Make sure there is no lumps in it. After beating, add half a cup of sugar, 2 third cup of oil or melted butter to it. If you don't have 2 third cup, then add half a cup of oil and then 2 tablespoons of oil. At last, add 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract and just beat it once. Using more ripe bananas will enhance the taste of the cake. Once it is completely mixed, start adding the dry ingredients without any delay. For this, have taken 1.5 cup of maida. Place a knife to avoid unwanted lumps. So first, I am adding half a cup of maida and mix it with the wet ingredients by using cut and fold method. Then add the second batch which is 1 cup of maida. 1 teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, a pinch of salt to it. Gently snive it with the wet ingredients. After that, add the walnuts to it. Now again mix the ingredients by using cut and fold method. That's it, our batter is now ready. Once the batter is ready, transfer it into the baking tin. So today I am using a bread tin for making this cake. Line it with some parchment paper and transfer the batter to it. Make sure your batter is get filled only to half of the tray. So for this cake, your batter should not be too liquid. It should be in this consistency. If your batter is too thickened than this, then you can add 1 or 2 teaspoon of milk and bring it to this consistency. At last, just add some walnut on top of it and place it in a preheated oven for about 350 degree Fahrenheit. So this will take about 40 to 45 minutes to get cooked. After 42 minutes, a simple and tasty banana walnut cake is ready. Thank you.